This doesn't make mistakes, it's a CNC controlled machine. It will do the same thing morning till night, every time, every program, much more consistent, very, very reliable. No, I've never seen a panel bender until today. We're here at Prima Power at the factory in Turin. Now, Barry, what is a panel bender? So, a panel bender, as you can see behind me, is a machine on which we load the blank of material and execute a bend cycle, and in this particular case, with this model, receive a bent part back again. Fully automatic. All totally hands off. Totally hands off. All the operator has to do is put the blank in and take the finished part away. Easy as Now, it sounds easy as very easy. How does it differ from a press brake? So with a press brake, what the operator is doing is putting each bend in position, putting the material in position for each stage of the process uh, underneath the tooling. With this, the machine is doing that for you. It is actually moving the material forward across each edge, executing each bend, and in, again with this case, rotating the part to do each of the edges in turn so you finish up with a finished product. So it's, I guess you've got basically a completely automatic system, whereas otherwise you'd have someone there, like you say, manual, manual handling yes. between each bend. Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay, so I'd assume, coming from the area of automation and machining, that that would make the process more consistent, is it? Yes, because again, we've got CNC controlled axes that are moving the material between each of the bend places to make sure that the part is in ideal position, totally accurate and able to do the next bend. It's not relying on any human intervention at all. Okay, so you're eliminating the operator error. Yes, correct. But from my point of view, a press brake is it's a lot more flexible because you can put all different kinds of tooling in. You've got good press brake operators who know exactly how to bend any part you throw at them. Why would you choose a panel bender when you've got a press brake already and it's, and it's, it's already very flexible? You're right, a press brake is flexible, um, but it needs an operator. And press brake operators, it's quite a highly skilled job. They are not easy to find. This machine is literally load, unload. The machine is doing the rest of it for you. It is flexible. Um, you just program it according to the part that you're making and it will do it. So there is a wide range of parts that you can actually produce on a panel bender completely automatically and let your precious press brake operators work on press brakes on complicated parts that need that. Okay, fair enough. I guess that makes sense if you need, if you're struggling to find good press brake operators, but surely someone who knows exactly what they're doing on a press brake, it's going to be really fast for that job. They can go bam, 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 smash out a panel, bam, 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 really wait a lot quicker than this automated system can. Uh, this will still be faster. No matter how good really? the press brake oh, okay. operator okay. is, <laughs> the panel bender will still be quicker. And the other thing is, the faster an operator goes, the more likely he might make a mistake. This doesn't make mistakes. It's a CNC controlled machine. It will do the same thing morning till night, every time, every program, much more consistent, very, very reliable. One thing we've not covered, Barry, though, with this system, 28 axes. Mm -hmm. Now, if I had a machine tool, a milling machine that had 28 axes, I would have a nightmare hand programming it. How about the control? Is it actually, is it a lot more, surely it's a lot more complicated to program? We have a fantastic piece of software that allows you to program the machine. Um, so we will start from the CAM system that we use for some of our other machinery. We unfold a 3D part if it comes in as a model. And then from the 3D unfolding, it goes straight into our bend CAM software, which then works out all of the bending parameters, the sequence of operations, creates the part, allows you to do the collision check to make sure that nothing is going to happen that wasn't expected, uh, make sure there are no collisions, program goes down to the machine and that's it, you're ready to produce your parts. Very, very simple to use, very user intuitive, not difficult at all. But what about safety, Barry? If there's, if there's 28 axes moving around in that machine, you need to make sure they're not going to be touching any of your operators. Correct. So. Most of the axis and the motion is going on inside of the machine, but of course we've got the manipulator there and the tooling. Um, this machine, this particular model, has got light barriers, as you can see, they're behind us. Uh, other machines have got different systems, but uh, basically what we've actually got here is you're able to go into the machine and change the part, give it a blank, take away the finished piece. As you come in and out of that system, you're activating and deactivating the safety system, and this is intelligent, so the machine knows the operator isn't in there, it's good to go and start again with the next part. It's calling the programs down as it's working. So if we're working on a kit rather than a series of productions, it knows to make the next part in that kit rather than the next part in the batch. Uh, but it's very intelligent. And of course, going on from that, the other thing that we can then adapt onto these machines is to put them into a full-blown system, a processing line that takes blank parts coming from another one of our machines, bends them, executes them, and gives them back to the operator as a completely finished part. So this is actually part of a big modular system as well that can do punching, yep. can do shearing, yep. 
And it's, it's a massive assembly line that can do a huge volume of parts yes, all of in course. one go. Yeah, we can do this as a standalone machine as you see behind us, and then a variety of other models right the way up to the ones that are then integrated in the system. So cost effective, easy to use, and maximizes your efficiency on high volume parts. Check out the uh, panel benders from Prima Power.